Hey, FlatHype.com here at Mario Serrano, uh, publicist for Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Big win tonight over Michael Katsidis. How confident were you coming into tonight? Uh, we were really, really confident for the fact that Robert uh, paid the price for this fight. He had a training camp. He left uh, home. Gilroy came out here to uh, Las Vegas and trained his butt off. Every day they were running up in Mount Charleston in the high elevation. They were eating fresh food. Um, it was just a great camp, and uh, I, I was really, really confident that he would uh, come out victorious. Fought a guy that had a lot of high energy when the fight started. Uh, what did he do to, to tame it, and, and how important was it to get the early advantage? Well, the game plan was uh, he, you know establish a good educated jab, which he did, and step off to the right and, and keep him turning, and then land that you know straight left, that uppercut, tag his body. I mean, it was just a really performance. Um, wow. You uh, you serve as publicist. When you're publicizing a fighter that's such a warrior, how e how easy does that make your job to uh, to promote him in any way? Well, Robert uh, is is a great warrior, first of all, but he's just a great person. He has a great story with his wife and his dedication to his family, and he's just all around one of the good guys in sports. So, you know, even before this performance, you know, it, it's, it's been a nice, smooth road uh, getting him, uh, you know, all the TV networks in the Bay Area, and now with this performance, it's just skyrocketing him to super. And how is his wife doing? His wife is cancer free, thank God, and uh, she's doing well. She's uh, she was here with the kids today, and you know Robert can be more happy right now. What's going on? Have you gotten any 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 uh, quick uh, advice or thoughts on um, where Golden Boy wants to lead his career I, from here? I do believe sky's the limit. I'm I'm talking the biggest names in boxing. You got Marquez, you got Mayweather, you got uh, Madonna. I mean, there's there's the, no end to where Robert could go next for his next fight. In his confidence, it seems that in his toughest fights, he kind of makes it easier than than anybody expected. Does that give him the confidence to know that that he can't compete with anybody? Well, the thing about Robert is he rises to the occasion. Uh, if you notice the fights against the lesser names, he kind of fights down to those guys. When the bigger the fight, the more he rises to the occasion. So, you put anybody in front of him that's uh, a big, big name, he's going to rise to the occasion and put on a great performance regardless. All right, and tell us a little bit about yourself. You got your magazine going. Uh, you've been in the business for a while. Uh, what's going on? How'd you get involved? And uh, what do you have going on? Uh, well, I, I really got to give all, all the credit to uh, God, you know, I'm a big believer in Christ, and, you know, I, I've come from uh, from the ashes, so to say, you know, and, uh, you know, Robert was my first client, so imagine that, your first client ends up being a five-time world champion, I mean, how could you deny the Lord, you know, when something like that happens, so, uh, our magazine premiere around, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, memorabilia type of magazine, uh, you can go check it out at uh, premiereround.com, it's a Spanish-English publication, and, you know, I'm, I'm starting to work with uh, Austin Trout and these other guys. I'm sure it's going to open up many, many doors. You know. My first uh, priority is always going to be Robert. He takes care of me. All right. Any closing thoughts out there to the uh, box fans? Uh, I, I just want everybody to understand uh, how difficult it is to, to fight at this level with with, uh, with your wife dying. I mean, people don't realize how tough it is. And Robert went and performed at a high level for the last two years. So I just I think he deserves a lot of credit for, for, for his performance tonight, his performances in the last couple of years. It's, it's not easy going into the ring, taking shots, having a big weight on your back. And as you can see tonight, he didn't have that weight, and it was a brilliant performance. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and go to robertgrill.com because his documentary is coming out. And it's going to be a beautiful story. Coming full, full circle from last year when he vacated this, this title, when he was, fight, was going to fight because he's uh, last year this time, and he came full circle, and now we fought him. And now it's going to culminate at the end with uh, Robert winning his uh, Bill Crawford Award at the Boxing Writers Dinner. So it's going to be an amazing, amazing documentary. All right, good, good luck. And I, I'd be remiss if I if I didn't get your thoughts on the tremendous fight we saw in the main event tonight with Morales and Madania. Your thoughts on that? Oh my God, how, how could you uh, deny the great warrior in uh, Morales? I mean, he's one of the best ever. Adonis, young, strong kid, and he went 12 rounds and nobody thought, nobody was giving him a chance. That's the great thing about boxing. Boxing is beautiful, it's a great sport. Anybody says boxing dying, it's not. It's alive and it's thriving and it's going to continue to thrive and flourish forever. Thank you.